Our next presenter is an artist and designer with a background in science and is driven by a powerful need to solve problems and tell good stories. Please welcome to stage Arenka Carney. Transparency. It's a rallying cry in politics and an exciting trend in business. And that's because it is an amazing tool for dealing with inequality, inefficiency, and building spectacularly strong communities. Why am I speaking about it? Well, adopting transparency in my personal and professional communities has been crucial to taking my life back from chronic disease and a traumatic past. Now, on this journey, I've had a lot of role models, and a big one has been the company Buffer. Buffer is an amazing social uh, media app, but an even more amazing community. They have adopted transparency through and through, and by doing so, they have learned and are teaching the truth that transparency isn't being an open book, where if someone comes seeking information from you, you'll give it. It is being a lighthouse, projecting your thoughts, your ideas, your hopes, your fears, your concerns, and that can feel scary. It can feel like a really vulnerable way to be, and it's hard work to create a community where you feel okay doing that. But that hard work is really worthwhile, for many reasons, including time. How much time do we all waste having the same repetitive, polite conversations because we are afraid to tackle controversial issues? How much time do we waste privately agonizing over personal fears or misunderstandings that we didn't realize were shared by our whole community? Now, this journey is aided by having the right vocabulary, and the book Getting Naked, which explores transparency in business, gave me some really key terms. The first term, is enter the danger. What does that mean? That means those times where you feel like being honest would be the scariest, most embarrassing, terrible thing are actually probably the times that being honest was the most important choice you could have made. So enter the danger means embracing and knowing that that sense of fear is a sign that it is time to be transparent. Now, to do that well, you have to follow the other key term Tell the kind truth. That can boil down to take responsibility for your feelings. Did you wake up angry today? If you did, you have to figure out how to keep your anger separate from the truths you're sharing that day in your community so you're not dumping that anger on everyone else. And it can be hard. So anyone who knows me isn't going to be surprised I've taken a transparency. Since I was young, I've always been a very loud advocate for truth and accuracy, and I'm so grateful my mother was able to see that and nurture it, while still giving me my first lessons in kind, appropriate truth. For example, interrupting the whole family halfway through a Christmas carol to let them know they messed up a lyric, that is not appropriate truth-telling, guys. <laughs> so as lucky as I was with my mother, my father was a completely other issue. He was a deeply dangerous, abusive, volatile person. And when you are trying to escape the clutches of someone who is volatile and dangerous, a direct bid for freedom can be risky. You don't know what they're gonna do. So my family was partially hindered by being in a society where we are often encouraged to prioritize polite niceness over hard, awkward truths. And it was just one of many factors, but it was a perceivable factor, that people not being willing to take notice of the warning signs and have those difficult, awkward conversations be when they saw parts of what we were dealing with, it was an obstacle, and I could feel that. Which is why, as an adult, communities where I feel like niceness is prioritized over truth, it feels toxic. It is a toxic niceness to me. And even if I know I am in no danger, it feels dangerous. And having chronic health problems just makes that way harder. The chronic pain and fatigue 
It eats up the mental resources and the energy I might have to try to explain to people why what they think is just standard politeness is setting my teeth on edge. Why, even though I know I am in no harm, my heart will race and my breath will shorten because I internalize that lesson. That toxic niceness can be so dangerous. So that's just an indication of sometimes the high price we pay for a lack of transparency. Now that's obviously not all situations, but it still comes down to baggage. Whoever you are, whatever your experience is, baggage big or small, transparency in a community is about being able to take that baggage out of the shadows so it's not running your life, and being able to unpack it in a community, a community that will help you understand and carry it. And maybe you don't have a lot of baggage. Transparency and achieving that in our community is hard work, and it may not feel worth it to you. But if you do want to try to introduce transparency into your communities, remember, your relationships are like delicate ecosystems. So that change has to be gradual and very intentional. And above all, remember, that journey has to feel safe for everyone. But if you do feel that there are people that could really benefit in your lives, strive for that sense of safety. Because you will liberate people from baggage that is holding them back. And if you can create a sense of safe, healthy transparency, those people will be able to become their best selves and truly blossom. And that's what happened for me by aggressively adopting transparency in my professional and personal communities. I've been able to tear my life back from chronic disease in a, tra in a traumatic past. So transparency has given me my life back. It has given me my life.